The process of plastering a ceiling can be messy, but that doesn't mean you should rush through it. Mastering proper plastering techniques takes time and patience, so pack your patience, dedication and some elbow grease, and before you know it, your plastering project will be soon well on its way. Before you begin plastering your ceiling, you will need to gather a few tools first. Keep this handy for the duration of the project. Then, if you need something made project, it will be close at hand. Plastering a ceiling is messy, there is simply no better way to put it. You are balancing on a ladder with wet plaster on a trowel that you spread across the ceiling. This means there is a pretty good chance that some of it is going to drip down and land on your or the surrounding area. The best way to counter-react this is to plan ahead. Remove as much furniture as possible from the room. Then cover any remaining furniture as well as the floor with a sheet of plastic. Take special care to ensure that the entire floor is covered. You don't want plaster falling and hardening on your carpet or hardwood. To protect yourself, you should wear a renovation mask and some old clothes. While the mask prevents plaster from landing in your mouth, the clothes will protect your skin. Not to mention that using old clothes means you won't destroy any favorite pieces. Do you have uneven patches on your ceiling? And then you should sand these down first. You don't want the fouls of your old ceiling to carry over after you are finished your project. Then you will need to tidy up. Even if your ceiling is newer, you should still follow these steps and tidy to remove any hidden dust. The good news is that cleaning your ceiling is relatively easy. Use a vacuum to remove old cobwebs from the ceiling and then a sponge with some soapy water to swipe up any dust that remains. After this, get rid of any traces of soap or residue by sponging the ceiling with clean water after following this step. Are you plastering on a surface that has been exposed to oil? Then use a degreaser. If you don't remove the oil before you plaster, it won't set. If you have a hole in your ceiling, you will also need to take some steps to patch this up first. Mixing plaster is relatively easy. The best way to mix plaster is by using equal parts of water and plaster. Then add the plaster to the water using your mixing stick to create a smooth consistency. Once the consistency is just right, you can move on the next step. Now that you have your plaster all mixed, you can begin plastering your ceiling. In order to plaster your ceiling properly, you will need to learn how to skim a ceiling with plaster. This is a pretty simple process, but it does require some patience. Thanks for watching. Until next time.